Hello friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Amplifier and in my this particular video I am going to give you brief introduction about heat or mist transform which is very very important technique in image processing and especially in morphological image processing I will be showing application of heat or mist transform in my upcoming videos in this particular video we will be seeing the theoretical background which is required to get the feeling of the transformation process ok so let's start so suppose we are having one complete image like this where the object part is this particular one and this one rest of the part is zero that means this is called foreground and this is called background that is object part is uh, white and background part is black as you know if I highlight I will be having these two as object and this is background this part is background of my image A and suppose I have one object X okay now I want to find out where this particular object X is present in my image A okay so generally what we do to find one object we use that particular object as structuring element in our image in case of morphological operation and we perform erosion erosion we fit at that position only where the structuring element will completely fit in that object else it will make that part also background right that is the simple idea so now let's consider this as our structuring element and try to find where this particular structuring element perfectly fits in our this particular A image okay so for the time being let me just remove this red color okay I hope you can understand this is object part and this one is object part this part is background of my image A now you see my X is 3 cross 3 and here 3 cross 3 object is present so obviously no doubt the central pixel of this particular object will be uh, one in case of my morphological operation that is erosion will not remove this particular central pixel apart from that you can see this is 4 row 3 column 4 cross 3 so here in the upper part once our 3 cross 3 will fit and in the bottom part once one time 3 cross 3 will fit so these two central pixels will become one if I show you see I have highlighted using red color so this particular part completely fit in our data so the central pixel will become one okay this one and similarly the bottom part also will fit and as a result the central this pixel will also become one so erosion will make this two one and similarly like as I have told you in the right hand side case this central pixel will also fit as 3 cross 3 structure so this will also become one so after performing erosion using this particular structuring element in my image A I'll be having three pixels one is this one another one is this one another one is this one right now you tell me whether we are getting proper idea of our object location X no because still there are confusion because our object X is not actually fitting completely in this part actually completely X is present here so we require only this part ok not this one these two pixels should not present ok so what we need to do we need to perform something more apart from erosion also what we can do to determine accurately the position of an object we can consider the background of X also here we are considering only the structuring element now suppose we are considering the background of my X also then we will fit the background with the background of my original image A then wherever that background will fit with the complement of my image that is with the background of my image A as well as our object will fit with the object part of my image A that common part that intersection part actually will be the location of my image I can see right so what we can do this is our original image this is our structuring element which we want to find out now what we have taken we have placed that inside one what background ok suppose my whole background total image is W so background which is that not matching with my object is W minus X if you consider the total image as W where the internal this part is X now as I have shown you that while performing erosion A erosion with X this is the symbol of erosion a erosion with X will give us this two part, these three particular pixels. Now consider the background of my 
this particular image only that is w minus x you will be having this particular boundary structuring element and try to fit that inside this particular image a but in the background part okay so what we will do we will complement our image so a complement that is basically we are considering the background of our image and in the background of our original image we will try to fit the background of my structuring element that is w minus x and you can clearly understand that w minus x will only fit here okay see how many columns 1 2 3 4 5 columns 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 rows 5 columns here you can see 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 so 5 cross 5 so if you consider this particular place 1 2 3 4 5 6 it is coming as 6 so what we can do we can consider this part okay 1 2 3 4 5 yes only consider this particular part here our structuring element will completely fit and the central pixel will be highlighted right but here it will not fit you may ask why see this is our object part right if you consider 1 2 3 4 5 okay so now in this particular 5 part and number of rows is 1 2 3 4 5 6 okay so here 6 rows and 5 columns columns are matching but rows are not matching right so as a result our structuring element will not fit in our this particular part so what we can do if we take a complement with w minus x that is if we perform erosion of the background of my original image a with my background of my x that is w minus x will be having only this particular part not this one so now you just take intersection or common part of a complement x and a uh, there is a erosion x and a complement erosion with w minus x what you will be having you will be having only this particular part right so now you can see here only our structuring element is completely fitting okay so this is what is heat and mist transformation that is a erosion with x intersection a complement erosion with w minus x now this w minus x if you consider this as another structuring element because you can consider w minus x as this particular structuring element so we can give some other name also so in general the mathematical expression is generalized notation is i am having two structuring element b1 and b2 where b1 is x b2 is w minus x then we can say that heat or mist transformation can be defined as a erosion with b1 intersection of a complement erosion with b2 where b2 is w minus x that's all okay and b2 is nothing but corresponding background and b1 is corresponding to object okay and in this way we can get the exact location of our object as we have found out here this is all for my this video in my next video i'll be showing you matlab implementation thank you for watching